Hi oh, folks, how are we doing? Welcome to another video. And finally, a proper fucking panel beating video. Um, or panel making video. So after much, much time of fucking about with workshops and storage and building this workshop, we can finally fucking do something. So hopefully, you know, I've, I've built this bench. Uh, you'll see a video, I'll put a link up here somewhere. Um, you know, I've built this bench, so this should be the general setup now, and then I can have the tripod walking around. No more fucking vlogs with me just holding the phone, fucking fingers in the way of the camera, sound all over the fucking place. So, like I said, this should be the proper setup. Um, I've put this cover deliberately behind me. Uh, eventually, I'm going to get this painted up, and you know, if you want to send me some stickers, uh, we'll get some stickers on here so we can advertise other channels as well. You know, like what I did on the fridge. Um, when we was in the, the tiny little unit, um, I'm going to be doing it on here, you know, because it'll be behind me and then you'll be able to see it. So, anyway, today i um, going to be working on uh, the red RS Turbo. Um, you haven't seen much of it. I did uh, a small little patch panel, or um, we'll sort of like how to make a patch panel for the scuttle on it uh, a little while ago. I'll put a link up the top again. Um, but today I'm going to be tackling the, uh, the A pillar and the roof. To show. So this is a little red escort. Um, this is the, the bit that I replaced uh, about a year and a half ago now, the same as that side. Um, I have done other bits and bobs on it as well, I had to replace the wing rails, uh, I had to repair all, all of this where this wasn't done properly. Um, and then it's got some dodgy repairs. You, know, you can see it's just been fucking latched together, like dodgy fucking shit loading. Um, there was a plate over there, there was loads of plates up obviously cut all that out but I'm waiting for a, a new set of seals to come for it because uh, the ones I've got just don't fit properly so I've bought, bought some new ones just waiting for them to arrive so today I'm going to tackle this um, you can see it's been gone for a while somebody's just lashed into the filler um, it's sort of pinholed down here uh, as you can see I did clean it up a while ago it's got some surface so I need to clean it up again but the idea is, I want to try and make this uh, as a single piece. So, I don't want to put any welds in on this edge. I don't want to sort of fuck about with it too much. I want to just make that as a single piece. So it's nice and strong, because uh, obviously that, there's a lot of tension in this bit. You know, that comes down as the main support. So, um, I've already made uh, some templates for it. Um, and I've already made the uh, bucks. So let me show you then. So here's all my bits. Um, I made a paper template. Uh, so I've got the shape of the uh, metal that I need. Uh, that was just, so I've got the, the curvature of the actual uh, screen aperture. So then I can make the, the box. You know, so that, that sits in there nice. And then that's the box. And then everything's gonna be hand formed. That's the uh, cutout for one of them, I can't remember which one it was. But yeah, that works out well so I can do the return lip as well. So first thing I need to do is uh, get some metal sorted out, using my template and we'll get it cut out. So I've got my template ready to mark it out. Um, if you want to see me sort of, or see how I made the template and see how I made the box, uh, drop a comment and then I'll do a separate video for this. You know, I didn't do it on this video because otherwise it would just end up being too long. So yeah. All I'm going to do is just mark this out. So I'm just going to use a magnet. Ooh, several magnets actually. Just lay it out. Nice and simple. The main bit I'm interested in is the bit around here where I've sort of put plenty of cuts. Because I don't want that too big. So I'm going to try and make sure that is fairly tight I don't know whether that's going to come on camera I don't know whether that's in the way well, you should be able to just about see there you go and then I'm just going to draw around it with uh, uh, a marker so this will get trimmed up before it goes on the car, so I'm not too worried about it being absolutely perfect. You know, as long as we've got a rough outline to cut out, then we can work on it. 
So now it's all marked out, it's just a matter of uh, removing the magnets, removing the uh, template, getting it out of the way, and then cutting it out. We want to save that because we're going to need it in a little while. Yeah, I'm just going to literally just run around this with a grinder. So, safety first. Simple as that. Get this sheet out of the way and then we can get this cleaned up with a flat disc. I'm not going to go too mad with it. All I want to do is just clean off the swarf. I'm not too worried about shape or anything at the minute. Now what we need to do is get the template back on so we can mark out this curve. I don't know whether that comes up on camera, hopefully it does. You can see that's the curve of the aperture of the screen. So we'll get it lined back up. As I said, the plate is slightly oversized, so it doesn't have to be too perfect, but just as long as it's roughly where it needs to be, with an even sort of overhang. So, the way we transfer, well, let's get this stuff down first. And we'll explain how we transfer it all over. Right, so you ain't, you ain't gonna be able to see that, okay? Just turn around. So in theory you, you can just about see the uh, the line that's been pencil drawn and the way you transfer that onto the other side is just using a dot punch and a hammer. Now you don't want to hit it hard so you use the back end of a hammer and you just give it a couple of light taps just to put a small mark on it. Did it. And now, if you didn't have uh, a, another template, I mean, like, like I've got, I would have gone all the way around and sort of done it every sort of say five mil so then you've got a nice line at sort of a dot to dot if you like but as I've got this template already all I've got to do is just line that up against the dots and I can draw around it. Find the dots. Where the fuck they are? I need a pencil. So to make my life easier, I'm gonna highlight the dots. Just like that. And now this frame's not gonna be great, but I need to sort of get this lined up. Literally, just put that on it until it lines up. Just like that. So now, draw that around. like that. So, I don't know whether that comes up and oh, it does come up. So yeah, just simply draw it around. Now let's uh, get it in the buck. So you can see I've marked these uh, sort of top, bottom and then on the actual template as well I've mark, marked it up. Uh, there's a genuine reason for that. Obviously we need the lip to go the right way but also with, with the template we need to make sure that we sit 
uh, fucking not framing at all. Uh, we need to sit right on that line. So that goes like that. We need to turn it upside down. Get this lined up. Absolutely fucking cock on. Just like that. And then without moving it, we need to lay it flat. So and then what we do is I uh, marked the uh, the actual buck on all sides so we know that lines up then we just get that on the lines just like that so now all we need to do is clamp the shit out of it to the edge of this fucking bench so it's going to be a little bit of uh, moving around until I've worked out exactly where all the clamps need to be so I'll come back in a second so it's all clamped up um, I wouldn't normally have an overhang like that but this is a bit of old worktop and this is solid as you fucking like so that's not going anywhere um, yeah you'd normally try and clamp it to the bench as much as you can get clamps everywhere um, yeah, there's, there's an old saying you know if you've got room for another clamp you haven't got enough clamps so um, well I've got room for another clamp but I literally cannot get it in there so um, yeah now we just need to knock it down so I'm going to use various tools uh, I've got a uh, nylon mallet got a uh, cupped panel bit of hammer got sort of a uh, planishing hammer sort of deal um, I've also got these um, sort of like chisel punches I don't even actually know what they are uh, I've got them from a car boot they've got uh, a curve on them so I think they're for like uh, sort of masonry and stuff like that but I don't really know I like I liked them I thought I can use them and I am so I'm going to concentrate in this corner to start with uh, we still need to do it evenly but this is going to need the most stretching so we need to try and get this corner down um, I'm going to start with this bad boy and then just start hitting it down and again we want to go straight down not uh, at an angle or anything yeah it's not working as well as I thought it would right so let's go with the nylon hammer get in there A few moments later. You can see it's going. It's just going to take a while. So I'll come back when I've got this flat. Because I need to keep stopping and starting. Because my fucking... Well, I haven't done this for a while. My arm is fucking killing me already. So it does take time. This is where we're at. Um, I've got it real nice in there. Uh, you can see... I've, I use many implements. Um, I've left this because that's going to need. I didn't want to stretch it too much because then it's going to end up getting thin and tearing. So I've just made sure that we've got that lip in, and then we can work on it. Um, I used many things. Uh, I didn't notice it kept moving, so I actually went through and screwed the extra two bucks together. Probably should have done that in the first place. But we're done. We've got, got a real nice crisp edge on that all the way around. So now we'll uh, unclamp it and we'll get it in the uh, second buck. So here's the buck I made and this actually took quite a lot of fucking about. So that's the original off cut that I showed you earlier. And then to get the right height there, I've ended up sandwiching um, got a little piece of plywood, a little piece of steel and then this uh, chipboard here. And then I've just screwed, I've tried to get them screws as flat as possible. But now that, is the right height that we need and then that's going to sit in there and um, i've also just cut these down it's just a bit of flat bar but we can uh, get this all clamped down nice and tight so i'll get this clamped down i'm not quite sure how i'm going to do it yet the best sort of orientation 
and we're going to start shaping this. So got it all clamped down in the buck. Um, sorry about the framing on this, with the clamp in the weight. There's not really much I can do um, without you being behind me, and then you're not going to see anything anyway. So um, I'm going to try and concentrate on this corner first because this is where we need to shrink it in. Um, so if I can get th this, although there is a curve uh, like on this side and this side, it's not that bad. So if I can concentrate on on this bit here, then we can bring it over. So it's just a matter of tapping it again you don't want to tap down you want to tap you know um, against it so let's see if we can get under there with something Get them down a smidge. As always with anything like this patience is absolute paramount you, know, you cannot rush it you can't just go gung-ho in it you've just got to take your time so once I've got that line in so I'm take this clamp off without it moving too much That's going in absolutely beautiful. This is just basic um, shrink uh, tuck shrinking. So I'm just using th this. Um, this is actually a carpet fitters dolly, you know, for tucking down the back of the carpet. So it's really blunt. But it's quite flat. So I can get under that. As you see, really, really light, light hits just to get that all to tuck in. Shrinking, sorry. What I'm going to do, just to give it a, a little bit more of a fighting chance, it's starting to really sort of crease in there. So I'm just going to give that a little bit of heat, just using a heat gun.
makes all the difference. You get the idea, so I'll come back when I've got it all sort of straightened out and we can go on to the next stage. Got it finished up. Took some fucking beating. Uh, obviously, I had to move the camps around as I was doing it. Um, there's a tiny fucking tuck just in there, but I'm not that worried about it, it's right on the edge. Plus, this still needs a little bit of a trim down anyway. So, let's get it off the buck and then we can start working out the shape of the actual roof. So that's that main bit, now we need to get this curved in and then we'll work back on So just put it on the car just so I can see where it needs to be and I expected it to actually have like a, a high spot here and then sort of roll down but it actually turns out it's flat so that's all touching nicely so don't really need to do much now with this edge so we can get it on the beta bag and start uh, getting the shape in. Uh, we need a roll for the apron here, then we need a roll here, and then we've got just this sway chair. Although I might try and trim this out because it'd be easier just to roll rather than try and get that sway in. So I'm going to clear the bench up because it's a mess. And we get the beat bag out and we'll get some shape into this. So while I was clearing up, I actually had to think about this quite a lot. Um, I said about getting the beat bag out. But I don't really want to be stretching it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over to the shrinker stretch up and I'm going to shrink this bit first, or well, that that area first, I think. Um, it will still need to go on the beta bag and sort of shape in and everything else, but I reckon if we can get this tucked in first, then we're going to have a decent decent start of it. But I mean, you can see how nicely that just fits in there. Shut the marks, bosh. So my buck worked perfectly. So let's go to the trunk stretcher. It's just a matter of sort of taking your time in this really. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go around this lip first. It's not gonna do anything or nothing with the visual, but I wanna pre-stretch this, uh, shrink this, sorry, and then slowly work out. As you can see, I'm just concentrating on this corner here for the minute. I'm not going too far. I'm just doing enough. I need to put some weight on the back of this, or at least screw it down or something. Too much pressure, just enough, just to see what we're doing. You can sort of see that's starting to go. A couple of creases in it. Probably need to get a bit closer on it. So what I'm doing as well is right in, in here I'm pushing harder because it needs to compress this a lot and then as I come out slight, slightly less. Come on here for a minute. I need to go down. Alright so I've got a reasonable curve on that at the minute. You can hopefully just see. I'm not going to move the tripod, I am going to go over to the car and just check it and then that's pretty much what I'm going to do constantly until I've got it right. So I'll come back when I've got this a little bit better. There's no point in you just sitting there watching me doing this because it's boring. So this is where we're at. Um, <clears throat> I've gone a little bit over here 
um, so it's actually bulging out a little bit but the time we've sort of planished it and everything else it should lay flat so it still wants a little bit of work you know it's not quite touching that edge it's a little bit over here but we've got the basic shape in it now what I want to do is actually concentrate on the actual A pillar bit itself because uh, what, what it's doing at the minute is it's fighting with everything so I mean that's laying pretty flat there you can see where I put the marks um, but it's popped up on this corner and he's actually uh, a little bit proud there so um, obviously we can't do this with a shrink stretcher um, it, it's just a matter of using some hammer and dollies so let's go over to the bench and we get it done I'm actually going to start on my bag um, I don't want to stretch it but it's the easiest way to start getting the shape so just using uh, my nylon mallet I'm just going to sort of run down this edge quick I don't want to hit it hard, I'm just trying to get a slight curve in it and get into that corner at the same time where it starts. Take it over to the car and see what we're looking at. You can see that. Hold on, so I'm going to have to that. Starting to get the curve in. So I'm not going to bring the camera over because the car is literally got there and I can't be asked to fucking fuck about. It's not far off, but still wants a little bit more. So again, delicately and slowly, try and get back in there. check it again so shapes in I like to tweak the edges a little bit as I've gone um, but yeah that was just with the beat bag that's rough as shit at the minute I don't know whether that comes up on this camera um, but yeah that's rough as shit that sits in there doesn't fucking move that sits in there absolutely beautifully so now we can start planishing get get that pretty much spot on and then get it trimmed out I'm not actually trying to put any shape in this at the minute. All I want to do is just get rid of the marks from this hammer. So I've got my dolly set up, I've got a planishing hammer, and I'm just going to try and get most of them out without moving it too much.
struggling to get right into that corner. Let's try a different dolly. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So get this side. Pretty certain I've took some of the radius out of that, so I'm just going to go check it on the car quick. So I've quickly just marked it. That's not too bad, but it rolls off a little bit more there. So let's see if we can get get that going. Uh, that's a fact. Um, yeah, that's more like that. that should do. It. So, back on the beat bag. So I'm not really talking, I'm just trying to sort of run backwards and forwards and get this absolutely fucking bang on. It's, it's just the process of running backwards and forwards really. Um, right, now what do I do? I'm going to do that fuck I'm just going to straighten it. Hmm. Yeah, that do. So now what we need to do, got that pretty much bang on. So I just want to wheel this out where there's sort of weird sort of uh, striations and stuff. Let's get that wheeled out and get that the right shape. So let's go over to the English wheel. Again, I apologize, it's gonna be running backwards and forwards. You know, I'm not gonna keep moving the camera, but you will see what I'm doing. Right, so again, you know, I'm not, same as doing the planishing on that, I'm not really trying to put too much shape into it. All I want to do is just smooth it out, get get rid of uh, any sort of imperfections. I'm not going to be able to get rid of the shit. I'm not going to, be I'm not going to be able to get rid of the uh, striations from the uh, jaws, but because I've shrunk it, we can easily just sort of linish them back at later. It's not a problem at all. So it's just a matter of getting it in. Um, I'm not going to put too much pressure on. I'm just going to literally make it a nice transition especially there a little bit more pressure So, after many, many trips backwards and forwards, you know, tweaking it, we finally have a decent panel. Um, I did actually uh, change the wheel uh, to the really, really high ground one. Just run it down that edge again. And we've got this pretty much bang on now. It's cut a little bit, so we're going to want tweaking, but now we need to uh, trim it off. And yeah, we, once we've trimmed it, then we can start, you know, fi final fettling for the car. So, let's go over to the car work out when we need to trim it. So before I uh, start marking any of this out, I actually need to clean it all off. Uh, I'm just going to use uh, one of these strip and clean discs, as I always do. I've got my shield on, 
by Fred. Seriously, look how dangerous that is. Oh, let me let me get me fun and all that. That's cracked and everything. Somebody had filled over that. It's fucking naughty. I'll get my phone and then I'll give you a proper close up of how bad it is. There you go. Look at the state of that. That has literally cracked. And somebody had just put filler straight down there. This is the fucking A pillar on the fucking windscreen for fuck's sake. Hence why I went to the effort of making that panel all the way around. I knew it was going to be bad, but obviously I didn't expect it to be that bad. Uh, we've got a little bit of pit in here, which I'll clean up. Pinholes. Uh, but yeah, I think the plate's going to come to about here. So, it's going to be good. Let's get it marked out and cut out. So, first thing we need to do is mark out and trim out the actual patch panel itself so i mean this is most of the rock but i am going to take it sort of up here somewhere and definitely come up here try and get rid of that and then we need to get down here so ideally i would have liked to have got rid of that but i didn't make the patch panel quick enough uh, big enough so and the problem is the edge that's not quite what, no. That's not too bad. Let's trim this fucking edge off first. We'll see how it looks. So, obviously I've made it too long this side. We need to get this edge off. So, I'm just gonna quickly mark it down here. Something like that. We'll just trim this bit by bit i would like to weld it right on the edge if i possibly can so yeah i'm going to trim that back trim that down and i'll come back to you there's no point showing you it's literally just using a grinder and then hacking that little piece off so that edge is all trimmed down got that fucking bang on where i wanted it now we need to uh get this bit chopped off so this is actually pretty good. I don't want to go too far in. So, uh, but I do need to come down here. So I'm thinking, what I'll do is if I come about there, follow that line all the way around. So then we need to come across probably about there. So yeah, if we just do a straight line here. See what it looks like. And then, yeah, that's not bad actually. That's pretty close there, pretty close there. Maybe come off there. So, let's trim that down and see what we're, look, see what we're looking like. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That fits in absolutely fucking beautiful. Real nice in. And for all the people that are sitting there wondering why I did an extra bit, you know, to to bring it off there's no way you can really shape like these small bits having that extra and shrinking it through and sort of um sort of panel being english wheel and everything else makes it a lot easier these small pieces never ever line up and i want this to especially around a windscreen aperture i want this absolutely fucking perfect if it was at the bottom of a wing where you know there's no chance of water getting in or or anything I probably wouldn't have worried too much but for this this has to be absolutely fucking cock on so i went through the effort of doing it properly so i'm uh, not just going to uh, clean these edges up uh, with uh, a flat disc 
and then we can mark it out and we can actually cut the car. I've marked it up using some Daikin. Um, I got this off of uh, Chris, uh, Kanawagi, uh, Kanawagi Utah Garage and Workshop. Please go and check out his channel. I think at the minute he's up to about 400 subscribers. You know, absolute fucking diamond bloke. And yeah, he, he deserves some love. So yeah, I've uh, put some light for it. I'm just gonna clamp this back up and mark it out. Simple as this. Just using Scribe, which is actually an old screwdriver that I've uh, put a point on. I'm literally just gonna draw around on the edge. Real nice and tight. See, I'm pushing it into the where it needs to be to the gaps. So, get off. Don't know whether that's going to come up, but you can see I'll scrub around it. So, what I'm going to do now is basically just chop this out. Um, I'm going to leave the spot welded bit in for the minute. It's going to be easier to deal with afterwards. I'm just going to cut around it. Um, I'm going to use my uh, air chop saw, so it's going to be really fucking noisy. And I don't really want sparks over my camera, so I'll just chop this out and then I'll come back. So, uh, I sort of jumped ahead and I apologise, um, I ended up having dinner and uh, yeah, I just sort of forgot what I'm doing. So, I've got it to this stage, it's, it's all cleaned up inside, it's a bit of primer inside. I've gone through, I've done the uh, holes, I've trimmed this edge up a little bit. Not too much, I just needed to get enough for, for the holes and then, you know, I've got all this trimmed absolutely perfectly and you can see it's sort of uh, just held in with the magnets. So. It wants a bit of tweaking as it goes along, but I've got it flush in a couple of places uh, and I've also got it sort of perfect here. So we're actually going to start welding it in. It's literally as simple as that now. Got my airline ready. Yeah, got my airline ready to keep things cool. I'm not even framing at all, am I? Got my airline ready to keep things cool um, so I don't distort anything and then the world is already set up it's just off at the minute because needed to do this a little bit so crack on
So, all tacked in. Uh, hopefully you should be able to hear me over the compressor. Um, yeah, and it's lovely. So, now I'm just going to go around the scene world. I'm just going to do the same thing. Uh, tack it, pull it down the air until I've got a full scene world. Then we can concentrate on this lip. So, be back in a minute. Got it all completely seam welded, absolutely fucking beautiful. Took my time with it, made sure you know everything was cool. Uh, so there, I don't think there's any distortion, can't see any, can't feel anything, but obviously there's words there. So the only thing to do now is actually clear it, clean it up. Um, the sun's going down um, and I'm losing light, plus we've got to be out of here pretty soon because I'm only allowed down here at certain times. So I'm gonna fucking move the camera and I'm gonna steam into this double quick. So there it is, all cleaned up. Um, I'm really happy with how it's come out. There is no distortion. The only problem is um, it's pulled in a little bit there. It happens. There's not much I could do about it. Um, I can't get to the underside of that. So to panel be it, it's going to be what it'll be. So I mean, luckily it went in rather than popped out because if it popped out, it's going to be pain in the ass. But you know, like I said, there's there's no rippling. It it is just that that tiny little bit there that's dropped. So, um, what I need to do now is I'm literally just going to give it a quick DA and then give it a quick cut of primer and then we're done and out of here. So, there it is, all complete. Um, yeah, you can really see where that's fucking dropped in. I'm not happy about it. But, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do. Like I said, at least it's dropped in so the skimmer filler will be fine. And then, you know, the actual main aperture is fine. Down is fine. Probably wants a little bit more clean up but I can't be asked at the minute, it's just done, we've got to go. So, that's it. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. Um, it was a pain in the ass doing that, you know. Um, I'm out of practice, uh, plus doing it in the new workshop as well. You know, I haven't actually tackled anything that complex before. And I'm actually really happy the way it came out, to be quite honest with you. Other than it fucking dropping in, that's kind of pissed me off the rest of it. It's come on, come on, uh, come out fucking spot on fuck off sorry it's, it's about nine o'clock at night as you can see the fucking sun's beaming through the door and there's bugs everywhere prick sorry <laughs> fuck's sake shit outro uh, anyway um, yeah that, that's it for this video um, please check out my friends in the description box below uh, please like subscribe um, drop a comment you know say hi you know, if you want to see any other sort of panel making videos, um, I'm going to be doing a lot more work on this this car. Probably won't go in depth of showing how I'm doing it. I'm just going to crack on and get it done. But you will see how it is. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll see you for the next one. Bye.